My name is Fraser. Um, come from the Oneida Nation and I'm Turtle Clan. And uh, I'm very happy to be here today to teach you something, to uh, revive something. It's an ancient form of corn husk weaving done by our people. Um, some items that were made were uh, salt and pepper shakers, tobacco storage bottles, um, the baskets, ceremonial masks, and uh, moccasins, believe it or not. I have some other items here, like the, the tobacco uh, bottle and uh, some other work that I made, a miniature hat, uh, a salt and pepper shaker there, and a basket that I've made. Through my research, uh, it, it was mostly used by the Seneca Nation people. And uh, the items I found were on in uh, Ohio or Allegheny Reservation, Tonawanda, uh, Cattaraugus Reservations. What I found in uh, Cattaraugus, it was a lot of women that, that, uh, that twined. And they believed that the corn husk was a woman's job. It was uh, commonly used by the woman. And so uh, there's other objects that we can make from corn husk as well. Like the dolls, some of you are familiar with. The, uh, the rug, that's the uh, one where you dust your shoe off. Then the next one is uh, you can get a little creative. Uh, this, this, this is some of my work. Um, I put like a turtle, turtle head on that, on that one there. And so there's, you can get really creative with uh, corn husk. It's really durable and um, that's the thing, that's the key thing to do is uh, to get a feel for it, to feel the uh, corn husk with your hands. You feel for the density, you feel for the different textures, because not all corn husk is the same. Some of the corn husk is a lot thicker because uh, the, outer, the outer layers are a lot thicker because they had to endure a lot more protection from the nature around it. And so as you, as you go inside the corn husk and take more layers of the corn husk off, you'll feel the textures and they're, and they're a lot thinner. So uh, the next slide is uh, the importance of twining. And so uh, twining is a part of our history. It's a part of our identity. Um, and so, uh, you know, we should revitalize that. We should bring it back. We should uh, make it you know, so that that's our social media, this is our social network, is doing this, this kind of thing, the real face-to-face -face interaction, and as opposed to the technologies that we use. That's, that's my whole thing on, uh, on twining. That's what I like about it. It creates those relationships. It creates that intimacy that we, that we always had with each other, that unity. And so uh, that's, why, that's what we get out of this. And so, uh, like I was saying, was that um, that corn husk is is in a, is really flexible, and there's a lot to it. So, the main concept of twining is to is to make sure that it's nice and tight. Make sure you get it tight, and everybody does things differently. And so, I'm here to cater to that, to uh, to show you different things, to show you. Uh, different concepts on how to better your skills in the twining and, and possibly make, make a basket or something similar to a basket. So, I guess uh, this is the first step. And so I guess we, we'll get started now. <laughs> Ana <laughs> 